KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 339. NASDAQ was up 150. S&P's up 38. Gold. Gold contract down $9.60, trading at 1768 an ounce. We had silver up seven cents, twenty-two dollars sixty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck fifty-two, seventy-two dollars flat. Notes and bonds: a ten-year flat, one thirty-three oh five. The thirty-year up nineteen ticks at one sixty-four eleven. And king dollar, king dollar up two hundred twenty-one ticks, trading at ninety-three four twenty-six. Euro one sixteen, yen one zero nine point seven eight, and the British pound one thirty-six to one U.S. dollar. We get over. We take a look at the spy. It's going to be a close one, man. I mean, the bottom line is that they were, whoa, why, why ain't that one doing it? Whoops, okay, hold it. Let me get another screen. Let's try this screen. That'll do it. Okay. So we take a look at the SPY out here. We had a little selling coming into the close, but not enough to change uh, that this market wants to go higher the next couple of days. Dead cat bounce. That's my take, though. SPY closed at 437.80. Uh, you had volume out here of 95 million. You're over the highs of Monday. So what happens there is that, you know, coming Thursday, Friday, this thing can make its way into the gap. As it makes its way into the gap, folks, you can expect you have a contraction of volume. This will be the B to C of a potential ABC structure on the way down. We go take a look at the, the Q's. The Q's up 342, uh, trading at a price point of 369.57. It just had a close of a 369.25. I expect the same thing in the... Uh, three Qs, meaning we'll get up into the gap um, and have a contraction of volume. The GDX, we take a look at the GDX out here, the gold and silver equities. We have the GDX. GDX went up to the price point of 31.24. Didn't hold price. You're at 30.50. You will see whether that's going to test the uh, price point of 30.59. Where I mean, uh, the, the well, it would be the highs of the lows, which would be 30.50. Well, we're at it. So it's 30.07. That test can happen again. And that happened with all the equities, actually, uh, the gold equities anyway. If we go take a look at AEM, an Eco Eagle, what you're going to see with an Eco Eagle, that pulled back, okay? So this is going to be interesting to watch, but you did have lighter volume on the pullback. We take a look at the note and bond market. The note and bond market still wants higher price, lower yield. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Sharpening your 